No! No! The, the East Turn Dog! Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel and today we are on Supernatural Season 13, Episode 11. I loved Episode 10 guys. I just thought that the whole like premise of it and the way that it was executed Personally, I just really enjoyed it and I'm excited even more so to see what happens now after that epic twist at the end of episode 10. So please remember guys, I have the full uncut versions of these over on Patreon. So if you're interested in that, please click on the link in the description below. I also stream over on Twitch every Friday and Saturday where I will go through some of your comments as well over on YouTube. So see if you've had a shout out, go over there and check that out. Hit that follow guys, I would love to have you there. So without further ado, let's get straight into this episode. Here we go. Lovely. Look in my heart. Is this an episode of Dexter or Supernatural? <laughs> People like this exist in the world scares the hell out of me. Nebraska? Man's truck stop. Manny's truck stop. Card declined. Card declined. Please see cashier. I mean, we've all been there. <laughs> if I regard wickedness in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Psalms, it's not just poetry. I hate things like this. Well, you enter somewhere and then they just stare at you and you're like... ID too? He's creepy. He didn't blink once then. Mm. Hand scum. That's kind of funny. He's still Old English. Has kind of blinked. reminds me of soap scum or... Can I just get 30 on two? Well, you smile some. You can get whatever you want, darling. so much wash your windows no I no no thanks he kind of looks like Darium <laughs> I don't know if you guys know him he's a, a Pokemon Pokemon opening channel come on is this the one from the same truck stop that she's hey! just hey hey you suck At least she knows it was purposely done now. Purposefully. No! 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 Oh god. The anxiety that I feel then when I was watching that. <clears throat> It was strong, guys. Real strong. Yo, Mega Pancakes, how many you want? <sighs> Thinking about his mom and Jack. Did I say Donna then? Yeah. No, I oh, ho, ho, there he is. Saved you a short stack. Hey, Donna, I'm here with Dean. I'm gonna put you on speaker. Uh, why don't you tell him what you told me? Oh, it's my niece. She's gone missing, and oh, that was Donna's the local niece. Cops don't. 
I know it's not your normal thing, but... Text us the address. We're on our way. Thank you. I love these boys so much, guys. I love them. <clears throat> the episode's called, episode is called Breakdown, which I do not like. Hey, Donna. Hey. How you holding up? Oh, you know. Not great. No. I'm sorry for calling you guys, but Jody's got her hands full with the girls. Hey, never apologize for calling us. So what do we know? Uh, Stady's found her car, side of the road. Signs of a struggle. And what was she doing out here? She was taking a gap year. It's like this thing where you- Take a year off, run wild before you go to college? <laughs> yeah. I used to tell her about how much fun I had when I did it. Well, she thought that sounded like an adventure. She thought- Donna, Don't hey, be blaming yourself whatever happens, it's not your fault. That's what Doug keeps telling me, but. Oh, is she with Doug now? Excuse me. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, I, um, I asked you a question, son. First off, I'm not your son. Second. Whoa, whoa, easy. <laughs> Agent Clegg, this is Agent Savage, FBI. Oh, company man. Ah, oh, you should have told me. I didn't get a chance. Uh huh. And what field office are you out of? I'm just curious who I should call about you walking through my crime scene. Hmm. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Uh, I'm not here in official business. The victim, she's family. She's my cousin, so I'm just here to get some answers. Oh. I can respect that. A bit better, okay. You and Donna are related? Yeah. So you were in Sioux Falls a couple of weeks ago at the family reunion? I was there. Yeah. Donna said it was a pretty wild time. It was wild. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. He's suspicious. <laughs> so who found the car? Troopers got an anonymous tip. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, fits with the pattern, though. Pattern? They think it's part of something bigger. And Wendy's not the only one. We found evidence that suggests she was targeted by a serial abductor. Now, that spike we found on the tire, that's classic butterfly. Sorry, butterfly? Yeah, that's what we call him, what I call him. He's got kind of a migrating pattern now. In the winter, he makes his way southward, targeting people that are traveling alone, people who won't be missed. And then in the summer... He, he targets men and women. It's not all women. Now, what about the victims? Go on. Well, they disappear. We've never even found a body. Which gives us hope that they might still be alive, although the scene at the beginning didn't look too promising. Now, I've been chasing this psycho for the last 12 years. I could use all the help I can get. These are your guys. We're in. Oh, Sam didn't want to be in. Sam's wanting to focus on his mom and Jack. She's redhead. Brown sedan. She's family. Hi, Diggity. I'll find your Alice. She'll be my family too. Hi, Diggity. Not if I get there first. You see? I told you. This is stupid. It'll work. Dad used it all the time. This isn't even our kind of case. Because it's not a supernatural case, he doesn't want to be. Okay, so what do you want to do? Hmm? I'm gonna call up Don and say, hey, sorry about your niece, these kinds of things happen. Later, and head back to the bunker so you can mope some more. I'm not moping. You got up at 10 a.m. this morning. 10 a.m. You, Mr. Rise and Freaking Shine. And then you turned down pancakes. I wasn't hungry. They're pancakes. Look, I know you're in a dark place right now, okay? I mean, we lost Jack. Mom is... I think about Jack. him, too. All the time. But you can't let it eat you up. Now, look, when I was... When I was broken up, you were there for me. Well, I'm here for you now. And I'm telling you, the only way out of this is through. Now, when everything goes to hell, what do we do? We put our heads down and we do the work. We'll find Jack, we'll save Mom, we will. But right now, Donna needs our help. Okay? Okay, okay, I like this. 10-4, Felix, what do you got? Better we talk live and in color. You mind meeting up? There's a uh, there's place off Gold Rush place. Byway, just past mile marker 980. I'll row through around noon. It's a date. Over. I feel like I've heard her, her voice before. She's still alive. Oh, it was her that he was about to... do whatever to... He 
looks tall. Is it the Jesus type character or the guy from behind the counter? Because the guy behind the counter seemed much shorter, but she is sat down, so I can't really tell. <laughs> help me. Help me, someone help me, please. Please help me. I don't know why, but this is really triggering me today. So, Miss Girlier's. Yeah, you saw her that night. Yeah, twice. Usually I, I try to stay out of this sort of stuff. Guy. Just run my route and keep out of trouble, but that night, that girl. Like I said, I saw her twice. Uh, once at a station off Highway 26, and then later I was driving off Road 88. And <gasps> She's the one that drove past her. I shouldn't have left her there, but um, I was running behind schedule and I just well, it's the only reason I'm gassed up there. That place gives me the creeps. And what's this place called? Manny's Truck Stop Cafe. The other night, we can put you there. I go where my ministry takes me. You know her? Her name is Wendy Hanscom. Recent high school grad. Popular. She had her whole life ahead of her. No? The girl looks vaguely familiar. Never laid eyes on the immigrant. Wow, nice. Okay, let's focus on the girl then. Lawyer. Excuse me? I know my rights. Do you think I give a tinker's damn about your rights? I don't care what you or your goon think. I know my rights will get me a lawyer now. Then you can ask me anything you like about your legal and your whore. Tough guy, huh? Whoa, 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 hey, 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 agent, 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 take it easy. Okay. Mind if I talk to him? I don't like the guy. He gives me the creeps. But would it be too easy for it to be him? 